Hey, what is going on? It's Styla here, and in this video, I will review the number one S2 Sun, a cool Bluetooth smartwatch in metal finish with a Moto 360 style round display. If you are interested in this watch, remember also to check out the video description for all the details on where to get it. So, the number one S2 Sun comes with the MTK6260 chipset, and according to number one, it should also be water resistant. It has a 350mAh battery that can last a little bit over one day with normal usage. And uh, the display is 240 by 240 pixels and uh, the watch features things like heart rate sensor, pedometer, built-in camera, G-sensor and motion wake-up. So this watch is not a standalone device, it does not have any kind of built-in SIM card or TF card, so it will only be able to make calls and communicate in connection with a smartphone. Let's now have a look on the box and what you get together with the watch. So first of all it comes here in this white box here with the number one logo. We also see here the one. On these sides we have nothing and uh, only here in the bottom of the box we see the specifications. Number one Sun S2 smartwatch. So the type is uh, it has a round circle display. 1.2 22 inch HD IPS screen it says well I don't think it's HD but it's 240 by 240 pixels we have here the RAM ROM support heart rate ECG and also things like thermometer and pedometer we see the size so uh, with the watch you first of all get this charging pad here or charging station what you will call it and uh, with this one you have to click on the watch on the back here and uh, then you connect here a micro usb cable to the laptop or to a charger wall charger and um, then it will begin to charge the watch and uh, here you can see how you should connect it on the back side and actually this one here will be magnetic so it's uh, really easy to click on Included is also this short micro USB cable here. And uh, then there are also these instructions included here in English. And uh, last, there are also extra straps included here. So these are in some kind of leather look. I'm not sure if it's real leather, could be. Looks really nice. Or artificial leather maybe. But uh, you can see it here. So you can change the straps on the watch, also a very nice thing. And uh, actually the watch here was a little bit too big for my wrist here. So uh, I removed some of these uh, here myself. And you can see that this is just like on a normal watch where you can change the band. Okay, let's have a look here at the design. And uh, the design here is uh, very stylish. The strap here kind of feels a little bit cheap because the metal here is uh, very light. I think they use some kind of very cheap material here. But um, yeah, from the outside it looks really nice. And uh, the, the heavy part is actually only the watch here. So here on the side we find, I believe this is the microphone. On this side here we have something that looks like two buttons but in fact only this one here is a real button. This one you can't turn or do anything with. This is actually where the camera is located. Let's open up here. Let me show you here. Just like on an ordinary watch. So on the back side we have here the connections to the charger. We also here find the heart rate monitor. And uh, here in the top we will find the speaker so the sound will come out of this hole here. So this watch here is said to be water resistant, uh, maybe even waterproof, but uh, 
I would not bet everything on that because um, we have seen before that not all the watches are real waterproof but just be sure that these screws here are really uh, tightened because uh, if not maybe water would get inside the watch and uh, the watch also features uh, motion wake that means uh, you just have to move your wrist here and it uh, will turn on the display So you can see that the watch, the clock face here is animated, the seconds are displayed and let me just show you here some of the others, you just tap one time on the display and you can see it changes the clock face here. So there, there are not so many to choose from but um, this one here is the one I like most. And uh, what you notice also is that we have here like a black bar here in the bottom. So uh, the display is actually not 360 degree round because of this. And uh, I don't know why, why they have made this because actually it's just kind of waste space here. But you don't see it when you're going inside the watch like this and the background is black. So uh, here on the main screen you see the clock, we see the date and the day. We have some icons here in the top. You can see vibration is enabled, Bluetooth is enabled. We see the battery indicator. Then we also have here the dialer, shortcut to the dialer and the SMS. So here we see the image viewer, video player, sound recorder and heart rate. We have here the thermometer, the ECG. We have power saving, stopwatch, and here we have some kind of UV. We have the dial again, messaging, phone book, call logs, Bluetooth, remote notifier, remote capture and anti-lost. We have settings, pedometer, sleep monitor. We have quick response, alarm, calculator, profiles, file manager, audio player, camera and video recorder. So that's it and uh, let's just check out the speed so you can see it does scroll ok the speed is ok fast here not so laggy but um, you really have to do it uh, precise with the finger because uh, the screen is not that big can be a little bit hard sometimes to navigate to the correct direction here but you see Right now it's going okay for me here. And uh, next up let's check out the viewing angles. Let's just try to see here, you see actually the viewing angles are pretty good. It's possible to see from the side and from the top, no problems at all. And uh, as told, it's a little bit a shame that we have this black border here because you can see the watch is not really round here. It's like cut off here, like this. So we don't have a fully round display. Let's have a look here inside, quick response. First of all, we have here, uh, you can download um, the apps for the smartphone. You have to download the Bluetooth uh, notifier app for, for the phone. So you can connect the watch here over Bluetooth with the phone. And uh, then these two can communicate. So you have to scan this uh, QR code here to get to a page. Then we have the alarm. Let's just have a look. We have the calculator. We have here profiles. So let's try to set this to general. Let's see here, activate. Options, customize. So you can set this to vibrate and ring. Of course, you can also set this to only vibrate if you want. We have here the ring type, ring tone. Let's see here in ring tone. So 
most of these ringtones are are not really good but you can also select from file and then we have here the ringtone volume we have here keypad click or tone we also have the volume for the key tone power on silent power off silent here you can also ch change the tone, how it should uh, sound when you turn off or turn on the watch. And uh, then we find the file manager. So here you can see photos and videos. You can here make a new folder, rename. Here you can also uh, choose to format. Let's see in the camera. So you see my hand here. So this is the camera part here in the side. Let's see in options. So we have here for photos. Let's have a look on the photo. And uh, here you can see the photo close up. And uh, it's also possible just to swipe here to change the picture. But you cannot zoom in the pictures. Have the camera settings, shutter sound, contrast, anti-flicker, and so on. So you can change the settings. Here you see the image size. So this is the biggest size. The quality of the image. You can change the white balance, scene mode, effect settings. A grayscale and so on. Then we also find here the video recorder, camcorder settings, video settings. So you have to notice that if you set it to a sharing video, you can only record about 15 seconds. And if you set this to high, the highest, then actually you can only record a few seconds. So not really useful. We have the image viewer. So this is just the normal one we saw before. Here you can play, use as or send. You said use as you can here change the wallpaper change the power on display or power off display and send you can send it via bluetooth to the phone we have the video player this will just play the video that you recorded and we have sound recorder heart rate so let me just try this and uh, on the back side here you will actually see this in the center here start to light up in green so this one is the heart rate scanner or sensor start to measure so uh, the results you get with this are not always accurate uh, and uh, i'm not sure that you 100 percent can trust the results because they are very different sometimes it works okay and uh, other times it doesn't work at all so here you can see 88 so i'm not sure about these features here these are most funny gimmicks in my opinion we also have here a thermometer and we see here right now this one here will say 36 celsius degree and in my opinion this is also not true we have here power saving let's see you can just enable this disable and uh, here we have the ecg so this will just record the electrical activity of the heart over a period of time so let me just place the finger here on the back side you see 
begins to measure something here. Have the stopwatch. And we have here something called UV. Not sure what this does. Somehow can measure the UV. Let's see here, we have the sleep monitor. So uh, when you wear this uh, while you're sleeping, somehow it can monitor your sleep quality. We have pedometer. Let's see in the settings, phone settings, language here. Display, change the wallpaper, let's see here. Let's try to set the blue background. So here you see now that the icons have a blue wallpaper. We have motion sensor on or off, flip to mute incoming calls, wake up gesture, we have the LCD backlight, brightness, time seconds, up to 59 seconds. Okay, so uh, now I have connected here the Xiaomi Mi 4 here with the watch over Bluetooth. And uh, let me just show you the app. So we see it here, it's called the Bluetooth notification. Also, you can download the Fondo app here and something called Wear app. And uh, here you see the Bluetooth notification app. So here you can change different settings, notification service, which app should notificate you on the watch, blocked apps, SMS and call service. You can look up the watch and so on. And uh, now let's try out the dialer. Listen to your messages. Press one. To change your personal options, press two. You have messages in your voicemail box. So you can see this is actually the phone book that you can scroll through here. And you can see the phone number. Click here and call directly. And uh, here you see the on-screen keyboard when you want to send a message, SMS message. So you have to use this keyboard here and can be a little bit hard to use, but as you see, it's possible. Let's see in messaging. So here we have inbox. You can write a message. Options, so you can change the input method. Symbols, advanced, save. We have call log, dial calls and received calls. And uh, now let me try the anti-lost. Let's look up the phone. Okay. So anti-lost, you can set the status to on or off. So when uh, the connection is lost to the phone because you, you misplaced your phone, it will start to vibrate or make an alarm here. Let's try here from the app, looking watch, look up the watch. So, watch have been found, okay. And uh, here you see the remote capture. So as you can see, it is a bit laggy here, but um, at least it does work. So you can capture here.
And uh, let's also try out the audio player here. So uh, the music will be played from the phone, uh, from the phone's music player over Bluetooth to the watch. Let's try. So the speaker is located here. You can hear the sound is gone now. I'm gonna hold my finger here. So now to the question, how heavy is this watch? Let's check it out. Precisely 100 gram, so that's okay. And uh, let's check out the size. So it's about 45 millimeter in the wide. So here we have a thickness of 13.2 millimeter. So we are now in the end of this review and I will now list some of the pros and cons. So first to the pros. The battery doesn't seem to be that big, but for my usage I was able to use it a whole day. Uh, it really depends on how often you, you turn it on and use the watch. If it's just in, uh, for example, standby uh, all the time, it can last several days. The round display is very nice and the metal finish looks pretty cool. Also, the strap is cool and can be changed like on a real watch. The built-in speaker is able to play pretty loud music. The quality is average, nothing special, but for a watch of this type, it is pretty nice. The camera can shoot pictures in 440 by 480 pixels. Not the best scene, but for fun snapshots, I think it's okay. So two of the cons are that the internal memory on this watch is very small, so there is not much storage for pictures or videos. And when you want to transfer them to another device, you must do that via Bluetooth. The charging station can't be used for that. Also, I was unable to change the digital clock with the yellow text. Somehow, I would like to change this font, size and color if I could. The metal watch strap feels a little bit cheap when you get it in the hand the first time, but it looks good um, and it's very light, so I believe it is made of some kind of very cheap material. The display is not completely round. In the bottom of the screen, there is like a cutout or a black bar with nothing in. So actually, this is just waste space. So uh, that's it for the review. Remember also to check out my blog. You'll find the link in the video description. If you have any questions, please comment below, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.